you know that that time that that relevancy everybody doesn't get to see that point right right and it's a blessing you know what i'm saying and and and, and i attribute that to um you know staying humble staying loyal mm -hmm. you know maintaining relationships such mm -hmm. as ours you know um which is very important you know and and focusing on the music mm -hmm. Everything else is secondary. It's the product that you bring into the table, what your product feel like. And um, that's what we focused on. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Meek Mill. Shout out to Wale, Gunplay, Stally, Rocky Fresh, Omarion. You know, just the whole team, man. Everybody who rocking with us. Fat Trail. You already know Tracy T. You know, we got a mean roster, man. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and we coming this year. Um, shout out to my man DJ Scream, too. You know, most definitely hunger pains is uh, kicking up, scream forever. Speaking of relationships, let's talk about your relationship with Hove. Yeah. Um, just recently, I've done two records together. The one for your album, one for his album. Yeah, yeah, Devil's yeah. Devil's Alive. Yeah, that was legendary, and though. Fuck with me, you know I got it. Yeah, that's huge record. Huge. Is, is that something you brought him in the studio and was like, yo, I'm, this this for you, big you, homie? You know, you know, one thing I never do, I've never really, you know, when me and Hove have sessions. Uh huh. You know, I speak on the sessions, but I've never just really, you know, gave all the game away, okay. all the way, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you most definitely drum or whatever, but we most definitely was in there, and um, we just took it to that next level. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We just took it to that <laughs> next level, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad the homie, you know, you know the homie rock with me the way he do. Yeah. He keep it so 1,000, you know, he came down to Miami. On the Magna Carta tour. And you tour that stage. Yeah, before. man. And, you know, the, 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 that stadium just so happened to be a mile away from where I grew up from. Right in the middle of Kara City. That's a crazy feeling. So I run out on stage of 75, 80,000 people. And I'm like, yo. You know what I'm saying? It felt like the floor was shaking. You Ooh. Know what I'm I seen Ichi the footage, Barachi, though. Baby. Yeah, I couldn't make it. I, I seen the footage, though. Yeah, man. It was all love, though. You know what I mean? And that's what you do it for. Um, Mastermind. March 4th. March 4th. Speaking of relationships. Yeah. And, you know, I, I just was so happy to see this because, you know, the, the the gift and the curse of my name is sometimes I always get caught up in the drama. So, uh, the Hip Hop Awards last year, you know, when you and the homie Jeezy ran into each other, I, I just happened to so be at there at that very moment. So, when I seen the picture, and I'm not going to front, I didn't know the news. When I seen the picture of y'all together... Smile went across my face, man. I was happy to see the brothers getting back to the money. Oh, uh, man, you know, and, uh, you know, that's what you a boss. And that's what real bosses love to see. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, that, that that's bigger than Rick Ross. That's bigger than Young Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? That's something we had to do for the South. Mm -hmm. That's something we had to do for the culture. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, we never um, spilt any blood or no money was mm -hmm. lost between us. Mm -hmm. That was so, therefore, it was small talk. Mm -hmm. So when we ran into each other, you know, we just bossed up. How did y'all run into each other? Man, we just, um, you know, ran into each other at a particular spot, man, okay. that we just both happened to be at. Okay. I didn't know he was there and it was vice versa. versa. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it was just one of them times where... Um, my team was smaller than it usually be, uh -huh. and his was too. So okay. it was a good time for that's us good, to just, yeah. you know, real. talk to each other. And that's what we did. We kept it all the way 100, you know, clarified a lot of um, confusion. Mm -hmm. We clarified a lot of confusion, you know, and um, we said, let's do something for the game. Let's do something for the younger, for the younger entrepreneurs to see. Let's show them how we supposed to do this. That's big, man. Yeah. Salute to both of y'all for that. Most definitely. Um, speaking of that, let's get into the record, man. Rose, I'm going to let you do it. You already know what it is, man. This War Ready, Mastermind, March 4th, Young Jeezy, what it do, Rick Ross, Mike Will made it. Y'all know what's happening. Keep it locked right here. Let's so go. crazy. Let's go. Woo. All right. Rose is here. Um, I want to see a, 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 a Ross Jeezy tour. That would be hot for me for the summer. Oh, um, man. It's it's a lot of rumblings of that already. Yeah, I, I got yeah. some ideas, you know. Come come let me bring be in some of the meetings. I got a couple of ideas I want to share with the team. Man, it's a lot of rumblings of that yeah. I see. Yeah, man. I know them phone calls. I know I know that phone was ringing right after. Steve Stout probably called like, okay, cool. It's time for me to step in. Let me get in. Let's put this tour together. Um, you know, that's something the streets would love to see. Absolutely. As well as this, you know, this new project, man. You know what I'm saying? And 
I just feel good about it. You know, I did uh, the deluxe artwork as well. You know, that was done by Brainwash, so that should increase, that uh, cover should increase in value in a little while, you know? What was your thoughts when, um, when you went to him as far as what you wanted for the cover? Man, you know, I just told him I wanted it to be... Um, I wanted it to be explosive. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to see the creative, the, the creativity coming out of my mind. I said, I, I really want them to see it. Mm -hmm. And that's the way he took it. He says the creativity and I told him I loved it. Um, I got the artwork in front of me. I also got the track listing. Uh, we got a lot of big names on here. The biggest. Meek Mill. Meek Milly Philly. Lil Wayne. Wheezy. Big Sean. The biggest. Kanye West. You already know good music. The Weeknd. The Weeknd. Hove, Jeezy, Movado, Sizzler. It's a big lineup, man. Man, this thing is, this one, this one here, man. And What's that Yay record like? You know, y'all done some monumental records together. Yeah, most definitely. It's that, uh, it's most definitely something that's real soulful. The chorus is so soulful. Mm -hmm. The chorus is so soulful. And the verses are just so arrogant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's that talk. Yeah, the verse is so arrogant. You know what I'm saying? All I wanted was $100 million in the bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's one of them joints, man. Yeezy turned all the way up. You know, I did my thing. Yeah. How do you, how, when, when you think about your albums, what new experiences did you have going into Mastermind that per se might have been different from, you know, uh, Teflon Don you know Gibbs. you know I wanted I, I most definitely wanted this album to feel different you know what I mean so when I went to the studio I had like you know we had like 80% of the album done and I went and played Puff the album mm -hmm. and I told him I was like um, you know you know I played him the records and you know I was just like I want the, the music to feel like it's the 90s mm -hmm. and he was like well you know you know how I do it. And, you know, I gave him the whole project. I just gave him the album. To, and he went in the lab and, you know, um, he sold the records together. He brought in new musicians to make sure all the transitions was flawless mm -hmm. on the records, you know. Um, he made he turned up hi-hats here, snares there, you know, throughout the project. And, um, you know, after we mixed the entire album, you know, every album I've ever mixed, when it was time to master, I went to master, and mastering was three hours. Well, on this album, mastering was three days. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, it was a most definitely di a huge difference in the process, you know, after the lyrics and the music we put it through, you know what I mean? So, um, and I most definitely feel everybody gonna, we're gonna hear it and, and appreciate it. Speaking of the 90s, speaking of Puff, Puff. Um, it's only right to do this record right here. So, Rock Boys, we in here. We in here. We got that Bel Air Rose on deck. On deck. R.I.P. B.I.G. French, what's up, man? Yeah, Frenchy. You nobody, baby. You already know this something special. Rest in peace to the greatest. B.I.G. Big, we got you, Brooklyn. What's up? Let's get to it. Let's get it. The biggest boss, Ricky Rose, we in the building. I need to order some uh, lemon pepper wing stop, man. What we need to do, man? You know, you know how I get down, man. We got them on. Uh, uh, we got them on dial. Okay, then we got to, yeah, man. That's just number seven on the keypad in the front. You know, we own a few of them, so how we need to do it. You may need to buy you a few oh, of man, them. You know, you know it might be time to man, buy. I got a couple dollars. I'm trying to invest. Oh, man, I know places, what it is. You know. You done bought a lot of pieces of the earth out here, baby. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, you just bought a big piece of the earth. <laughs> a, a, a very big piece of the earth you yeah, just purchased. Man. God is good. You hear me? God is good, man. Um, for those who don't know, I don't know how you can, but uh, Rick Ross is now the new owner of Evander Holyfield's former, uh, I don't even want to call it a crib. I don't even want it's not even a mansion. I've been in the crib. I know what it's. I know what it looks like. It's, right, how many right. acres is sitting on over there? It's on two hundred plus. Woo! Yeah, it's on two hundred plus, hundred and nine bedrooms. But you know, salute the legend, man. Salute the legend, Evander Holyfield, most definitely. Yeah, you know I mean, and um, we most definitely made that purchase, man. And yeah. um, we got big plans for it. You know, yeah. it's even bigger than. You know, anything personal for me. So. Okay, so it's not necessarily just that you bought it just to live in. No, 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 no. I want to, um, you know, um, make Wait. sure some other people get to see that. Okay. You know, same way when I first came to Atlanta, uh -huh. I pulled up to it and just sat outside of it for 10 minutes. Just uh -huh. like, just looking. you know. Did you, you ever know? think you were on it? Never. 
Nah, real talk, never. But that's why it's like, you know, we got to get some kids that talk. Absolutely. You know, them kids from ATL, you know what I mean, uh, Miami, and, so, you know, different places, you know, just open those gates up and let them see this and let them know this is real. So we can look forward to the foundation. Uh, yeah, 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 most definitely. I'm doing some, I'm um, setting up some things right now for the kick off my new foundation right here in Atlanta. Okay. In a big way. Okay. Yeah. That's big. Salute to you. How many bedrooms is that thing again? Man, they say it's 109 when I stop counting that 60, man. <laughs> I'm going to for real, man. I tell them you need a segue to ride through here, baby. Um, basketball court inside, uh, bowling alley. It's, 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 it's a house outside of the house yes. on the property. Yeah. That's how real it is. Yes, yeah, it's, it's real. It's very real. Um, You know, outside of uh, all the, the educational stuff we're doing, possibly even, you know, having a summertime Sometime barbecue or something. Most know. definitely. We most definitely mm-hmm. gonna have those. Me and Scream provide the music. Man, that's the that's gonna be the you know, <laughs> one of the best parts. Yeah, MMG weekend. Most um, definitely. Shout out to MIAO but yeah. A Town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh Mastermind, March fourth, it's right around the corner. We right around the corner, man. I put so much into this LP right here. Shout out to every producer that laid a key. A key on this record, you understand? And everybody that's, you know, most definitely featured. Everybody at the yeah. building. Shout out to Def Jam Records. Pet everybody at, the, yeah, Pet. You know, just up. everybody, you know, at the marketing departments, yeah. the radio departments. Everybody that's doing that groundwork. I'm talking about, or you know, shout out to Kadife and yeah. Lex Promo. You know what I mean? Shout out to Shampoo. You know what I mean? Everybody that's just on the ground. I ain't forget nothing, man. I want to thank everybody because we here and we wouldn't be here without the team. You for know, sure. and without the fans. Um, I, I want to talk uh, basketball with you for a minute. Talk to me. Um, now, they're saying that the talk of the talk is that, you know, when it comes to the playoffs, the Heat might have a tough time against the Pacers in that seven-game series. Everything up to that is going to be a breeze. But that's the talk. I've been hearing talk for the last <laughs> few seasons, you know. <laughs> you know? At the beginning of the season, man, you know, um, We've been hearing talk for the last uh, three or four been, seasons. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Okay. We've been hearing talk. But, you know, what people got to understand is, is um, you know, it's, it's, it's levels to this. You know, and we got big homies out there that, you know, I don't want to say they just chilling or they just relaxing. I don't want to say they letting their knees relax yeah. or they back relax or you know, and get ready for when the big money, you know, uh, roll around, which is the playoffs and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we can't just look at everything at the surface, you know, sometimes. You know what I mean? And and, and I believe the Miami Heat is most definitely one of those situations because, um, you know, we all, we all agree. I believe that LeBron James is the greatest NBA player of all time. Thank you. I, I hear that confidence. I like that. Thank you. Um, thank you. Right now, at this point in the season, if we talk MVP, we put LeBron James' name there. We put Kevin Durant's name there. You know, KD, that's my dog. Yeah. That's my dog. I'm talking about we just party All-Star Weekend, you know what I mean? But we know who to, you know, let's be honest. Okay. You okay. Know, I, I, know, I, I like the confidence. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we, we know uh, Braun jumping at the free throw line. <laughs> <laughs> who going to block that? <laughs> Rose, man, Mastermind, March 4th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute, congratulations. Man, it mean a lot, man. Another masterpiece. Most definitely. I got to salute you for all the success you've you've had and maintained as well, my brother. Thank you, man. Most I, definitely. I appreciate that. It means a lot coming from a brother like yourself. We yeah. got more work to do, too, you know? Oh, yeah, man. We got a lot of money to get. We yeah. got a lot of artists to bring into the game, a lot of producers to bring into the game. Shout out to Beat Big in there. Shout out to... You know what I mean, Young Sean, everybody that's just on my team. Gunplay Murdoch, what it do? Triple C's, what it do? Everybody that's just on my team, man, let's um, let's keep shooting for the stars with a full magazine, baby. Rose is here. No games on these niggas. Let's go. Huh.